Hey everybody, good morning, it's Cheryl. It is, it is another beautiful day in Athens. It's, uh, let's see, it's Sunday, um, April 11th, around noon or so. Uh, beautiful fluffy clouds in the sky, the sun is out, gorgeous day. I'm about to go for a run, but I wanted to give you week 22. Uh, unbelievable, almost at the midpoint of a year <laughs> uh, weekly update. Our friends from Joma and their subcontractors have been super busy, mostly outside this week. So rather than uh, focus on what's going on inside, not much changing, just still laying down the, um, the girders for uh, delineating the floor markers. I'd love to show you what's on deck for. So here we are, um, been following the work of our um, concrete uh, subs. So we laid in a um, nice functional um, pad for wheelchair access and egress. And if there's an emergency, um, we can use that for a safe pad. And look at this one, two, door, three, four, five, six, seven, outdoor, indoor dog runs. Super exciting. So um, this area here will be uh, fenced in pretty soon. What we are now dreaming of is how can we engage our volunteers, our guests when they're coming to our place, our new shelter, and they're excited about finding their new family member we know that you can uh, increase adoption rates when animals have the opportunity to get out of their housing, interior housing at a shelter, and really um, allowing them to express themselves through uh, movement and less um, inhibited interactions. And so we are working with Joma to fence in this entire area all the length of the um, the backside of the shelter to put some really engaging um, experiences out there. So perhaps it's uh, behavioral relationship-based training with some of our extraordinary trainers in this area. It could be, um, I always wanna say an obstacle course, but that's not, I, I have a block for this word. <laughs> an obstacle course starts with an I. Um, and uh, you can, you know, retrieve and do dog yoga, whatever you want. You can, you can dream it, you can do it right there. And as, as I was alluding to in a couple of videos, this area and here, we're actually putting some uh, imagination work on this. And so we need to have this area here this is the uh, entrance exit from the dog ward for the surgery side. So when our patients are uh, recuperating and need to use the facilities, we can walk them out here. Um, this will be fenced in and the shrub will be removed so they can relieve themselves. And then um, we can fence this area in for a barrier and then have this entire area along the the length of the three barrier of uh, three three entry um garage for other purposes perhaps we can have the the farthest left bay free for uh transport teams to um enter from the front load up their vehicles um, and then exit through here. If we had an event and that bay was closed, we could have food trucks available and use these other bay areas to maybe um, put some sod down and um, fence it off and have a lovely multi-use multi space, perhaps for kids camp or for a delightful um, uh, evening event or whatever we'd like. So the planning for phase two is um, underway. 
and we're talking about how to engage our uh, community in perhaps um, planting work and sprucing up the facility, the campus, with some thoughtful native plant gardening and engaging our local artists to perhaps consider uh, placing a sculptor piece of art in the campus area um, as a maybe, you know, you never know what you're going to discover, what you'll, what you'll encounter that will surprise and delight you around the campus. So that's what we're up to this week. I hope you're excited. We are beginning to schedule some behind the scene tours we call BTS tours. Uh, we're getting towards that time. So if you'd like to see the place in person, give me a call 706-452-1299 or send me an email, Cheryl, C-H-E-R-Y-L at AthensHumaneSociety.org. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.